Hello. I wanted to show you guys um, Pulsar Jet carburetors and what can cause them to not prime. Um, I've learned this the hard way over the years after repairing hundreds of lawnmowers, and of course, some of those hundreds have been Pulsar Jet carburetors. Uh, here's some I've stored over the years. There's probably about 50 or 60 in there that um, I've taken off and then just put on a, uh, a new, uh, not a new carburetor, but one that has been refurbished, which is what I'm going to show you here. Um, the uh, problem with these carburetors, which I haven't seen discussed anywhere, is that <clears throat> the reason they don't prime isn't because the primer bulb is bad, because I'm sure you've all experienced if you repair mowers, you put a, replace the primer bulb, you replace various parts on the carburetor, and it refuses to prime. Well, that's because often what's happening is way inside of the primer bulb, underneath the primer bulb, there are some very small components that, that get uh, rusty, they get uh, crudded up with ethanol fuel residue, and uh, they need to be checked and uh, cleaned and, and make sure that they're operating. And, the, and this is how you go about that. Here are three carburetors in different stages, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, this carburetor here, uh, I have removed the needle seat which is this little green object right there. A lot of you guys will be familiar with that from working on quantum carburetors. It's uh, almost identical or identical to the needle seat that you would find in uh, a quantum carburetor. And under that needle seat is that tiny spring right there. And that spring has to be compressed from pressure that you apply when you when you press the uh, primer bulb. And so if you look underneath these, this is what you're going to find with one that's complete, okay? So I haven't uh, done anything to this one because it checks out. And one of, the, one of the ways I check that is to go in with this little probe here and make sure that this moves up and down. I'm pushing, 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 and it does. Just like when you push the primer bulb, which then shoots fuel through that area. And uh, you don't want fuel leaking out all the time, and that's what the spring does. The spring is forcing that ball bearing against that needle seat all the time until you push it to, to free up the fuel and shoot it into the, uh, into the opening of the manifold. So um, here's what's underneath the primer bulb with all of that removed. There it is complete. And here is a dirty one that I wanted you to see that is never going to prime. And this may be what's underneath those carburetors that you tossed aside thinking were bad. Uh, uh, might have just been stuck. Now this one would have to be replaced. And I would borrow one from another one that uh, maybe is missing parts, is cracked or broken or whatever. Uh, but you see how rusty that is? It's supposed to look like that. Nice, shiny, round ball bearing. And uh, so this will be discarded. That I'll check that needle seat to make sure it's still soft and pliable. I'll pull out that spring. It's probably going to be in the same condition. Okay. So now you know what's going on underneath that primer bulb. It's full of fuel. And you push the primer bulb, and it pushes it through. It pushes that little ball bearing out of the way and lets the fuel pass. And if any of that is has been run for a while and it's got ethanol fuel in it or rust or corrosion like that one, it's not going to work. So that is often the reason your Pulsar Jet Primer doesn't prime. Thanks and stay tuned to our other videos.